Well, my first guest here at the Phoenix Financial Fest is Mr. William Gray. He is the CEO of a company called Competitive Companies. Their stock symbol CCOP. Uh, Bill, good to have you in the program. It's good to be here. Well, Bill, we've been talking a little bit before going on the air, and uh, I have to tell you, get ready to be blown away. That's all <laughs> I have to say. Tell us what Competitive Companies does. Competitive Companies is primarily a company that uh, has been working in the broadband field for a number of years. Uh, we started off, in fact, with uh, dial-up and took dial-up to the next stage in broadband, primarily in the wireless field. Uh, now you're seeing the wireless go into mobile wireless in broadband, and I believe that's really where the market is headed, into mobile broadband, uh, particularly in being able to utilize uh, your cell phone or other mobile devices to be able to bring broadband to you at anywhere. Now, the thing about the internet and broadband, it's, it's really all about speed. I mean, you, know, you, you mentioned, you mentioned dial-up. I mean, 15, 16 years ago, when we were all introduced, introduced to the internet. It was just so cool to be on the internet, we weren't really that concerned about how slow dial-up was. Exactly. Then all of a sudden, dial-up became excruciatingly slow. Along came broadband. That satisfied us for a while, but even some of us are getting a little impatient with the speed of what is known as broadband. Your company is taking this to an entirely different level. Tell us about that. Well, uh, you know, broadband is, is moved from uh, fixed broadband, which you saw in DSL and cable, uh, to now more of the mobile aspect of broadband. And just recently, in fact, a company, and I won't mention their name, came up with the, the title of 4G. And as 4G began to come into the marketplace, people are understanding what 4G is primarily associated to their cell phones. So they're now using their cell phone as part of the broadband aspects. And uh, you're seeing speeds in the, anywhere on a, on a uh, cell phone from, uh, in fact, what we have right here in the show, two megs to around 12 megs. Uh, you're finding that marketplace now has grown to about $30 billion a year, projected to be over $70 billion by 2015. Well, now, every one of us has been on the Internet at one time or another, and we've taken a look at these speed meters. We're testing our, the speed of our, our Internet connection, our broadband connection. Uh, you've got a little demonstration here. Uh, let's go to that video, and Bill, tell us what we're looking at. What you're looking at here is a demonstration of the technology that we have to carry 4G broadband, mobile broadband, to the next generation. Now, we don't know what it's going to be called, so we just call it 4G+. Plus. Well, okay, now what, what I just saw there was this needle being absolutely pinned. Now, I've done dozens of these speed tests. I have never seen anything come close to that. That is absolutely remarkable. Yes. In fact, what's really remarkable about this is you're looking at something that uh, is introducing a mobile broadband speed. Not only is it faster than the current speeds, but it's, it's out there on devices that we already have. Uh, on your mobile phone, uh, on your iPods, anything that has a Wi-Fi connection application to it, you can receive these speeds. And they're, they're phenomenal speeds. I mean, it's something that people never even imagined. Well, that, that, that meter that we're looking at kind of reminds me of the tachometer on a Ferrari versus a <laughs> Ford Pinto. Uh, let's talk about if we were looking at that without your technology, about where that meter would have been. You're looking at, sometimes, in some cases here, 10% or less. Uh, as we tweak out our technology, we're actually seeing that meter go up past uh, 300 megs. Uh, we're actually testing these speeds now to a gigabyte. And of course, that's going to introduce a whole other uh, facet of, of applications for being able to use broadband services. So if you're downloading a file or a song or even a movie and you're doing it at those kinds of speeds, as opposed to watching that bar go across like that, <laughs> we're basically talking zip, aren't we? A blink. A blink to download a movie. Absolutely. That's amazing. Again, the company is competitive companies. Their stock symbol CCOP. If you'd like more information about the company, call us at 888 toll free from anywhere in the world. Bill, what's next with the company? Because this, I mean, you're, you told me this is basically your rollout here at the show and your appearance on the program. What's on the cusp? Well, I think that what we're doing, because we have patented technology, this makes it a very interesting play out into the marketplace today. It's actually a product that you're seeing AT&T, T-Mobile, any of the major carriers, because this is carrier grade Wi-Fi, wide area network broadband services. And so we're looking at actually being the offloading service for those major carriers. Now, for people who are watching the program, and I can guarantee you right now there's folks saying, I got to have that. I mean, are, are they able to buy this right now? Are they able to license it? How does that work? Well, uh, we, we will be offering uh, licensing on this to some of the, uh, the smaller carriers. 
but uh, we're also looking to get this out to the major carriers so that it can be in every market uh, very quickly and we believe that we're going to be able to get it there. Okay, so you're basically then, if I understand it right, you're in the licensing business of your technology to the carriers. So you're basically looking for the carriers to pick up your technology and offer it to their customers. That is correct. Now, you said something fascinating to me before we went on the air that it's not really that expensive for a company to take on your technology. It's actually, it's better than that. It saves them more money than they're currently spending for their 3G and 4G technology. So once they utilize our technology, we can actually save them so much more money that the cost of delivering the service and getting a better service is, is with our technology. Now you mentioned uh, this is patented technology. So this is yours, it's, you own it, it's your intellectual property. That has to represent a tremendous amount of growth potential for you. Uh, nationally and internationally. Uh, we, we see that this is really the next generation of being able to provide it, particularly in the United States where uh, you're finding a lot of problems with the, li the license frequencies that the major carriers use is now becoming so congested that there has to be no other solutions. We believe we have that solution. You know, I find this interesting is there's a, a number of very rural areas of the, um, of the country that don't have access to hard wire broadband. This really solves that problem, doesn't it? Absolutely. This is really the rural market dream. Uh, we can bring in the, those kinds of speeds in any market and particularly into the rural markets. Yeah, I have to join the list of people who are watching right now that are saying, I got to have that. <laughs> Again, competitive companies, stock symbol CCOP. We're chatting with their CEO, uh, William Gray. Uh, Bill, this is fantastic. Thanks for joining us on the Thank program. Thank you very much. You bet.